it's been a busy week for the Ohio High School Athletic Association, OHSAA, shocking the state earlier this week when it announced Jerry Snodgrass would be replaced as executive director as they attempt to navigate the ever-changing status of high school athletics. Here's part of Claire Dow's conversation with OHSAA Director of Communications, Kim Streed. What is your message to athletic directors around the state or just other members of the Ohio athletic community who maybe question the stability of the OHSAA when you let go a member as involved as Jerry Snodgrass? Sure. Well, and, and there's a lot of schools that are questioning that right now. And, and uh, as you mentioned, we, we can't go into a whole lot of detail, but it certainly took um, a lot of people, including our schools, by surprise. We understand that. We, we understood that there would be um, a lot of people that would question uh, that decision. Um, comes with the territory when you have to make a decision like that. It, it was a very difficult one. I know that our board of directors did not want to do it. Um, this is never a time uh, to make that kind of decision, and certainly now is not a great time to do that. But I, I hope that people know that our board of directors is the ultimate authority of high school sports. They're not going anywhere. Uh, they are still very much in charge of the OHSA and our staff uh, is all still in place. Um, Bob Goldring is the interim executive director. He's been with the OHSA for 25 years and has touched almost every office and aspect that we have. And a lot of, uh, a lot of school administrators are very familiar with Bob. Uh, he is the, the steadying, calming force right now that we need. And our staff uh, is really now been empowered to do what we do. And uh, the board made that clear on, on Monday and, and even into Tuesday that this is the time when we need the OHSA staff, each of us in our own areas, to do what we do best and come together. And we have a lot of work to do in a short amount of time because we want all of our sports practicing as we have it scheduled to happen on August 1st and then moving forward with the regular seasons and hopefully the postseason. Uh, which is the main thing that we work on is the postseason. So we, we have a lot of work to do in a short amount of time, but this is what we do. And uh, we're working together already. We know that our staff can get the job done and, and we've already started doing that. Bob has quite a resume, especially with the OHSAA. Was he kind of the no brainer pick when it comes to filling that interim role? I know he's had experience with it in the past as well. Bob is the number two person, was the number two person in the office for a long time. Um, Dr. Ross really relied on him for a lot of the inner workings of the office. Uh, that's Bob's expertise. And uh, Jerry used him in a similar way. Uh, there, there really was not much um, that happened at the OHSA without Bob's involvement. So it was a natural pick. Um, uh, he, Bob is very well liked in the office. He is one that loves pulling groups together to hash out ideas and talk about different projects. Uh, many of those that Bob has helped write. So Bob was a natural choice. See Bob get that, that nod. And, um, you know, re really, these next few weeks are going to be the most important weeks for the 2020-21 school year. So that's what Bob's going to lead us through right now. And, and we're working with, with the governor's office to, to help ensure as much of that happens as we can. And then, it, it honestly won't be till after that, that we have the new executive director in place. So there's no reason to rush right now. We're not gonna rush through this. Our board of directors, uh, we, we trust them. They're school administrators from all over the state and uh, they've been through this before and uh, they'll lead us through it again now. Is it something where there is a possibility of fall sports and spring sports kind of swapping? Well, at, at the moment, uh, the OHSA has no plans in switching sports seasons. And I know that's been a, a big rumor the past few weeks on social media. But uh, the, you know, we have no intention of, of switching seasons. Um, now, as, as you know, being in Toledo, what's happening to the north of you where the Michigan governor has asked, I believe, football to happen in the spring, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe that is still up to the Michigan High School Athletic Association. Um, in Ohio, we have not been asked to consider that by Governor DeWine. Um, but and I think that all of our staff would say, you know, the, the governor is the one calling the shots with the return to sports. If he would mandate that, then obviously we have to do that. 
but the OHSA does not want to see that happen. Uh, we, want, uh, we want fall sports to happen in the fall, winter in the winter, and spring in the spring. And, you know, if we would be forced to move football to the spring, that would really be tough for a lot of our schools because lacrosse and track and baseball would really suffer. And for our smaller and medium-sized schools, they probably just wouldn't have some teams in those sports. So we have no intention to do that. We have no desire to do that. Uh, I know a lot of people have speculated at that, but at this point, uh, we sure hope that doesn't happen.